Hey everyone, my name is Brian, and this is another tutorial brought to you by LurkExchange.com. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Follow Me tool. So what I have here is a uh, piece of molding that I've just quickly uh, sketched up in a place, and I've also made it a component. And the reason why I made it a component is because molding is very tricky to edit if it's attached to anything else. So I like to have my moldings and my trim work all separate of the objects that they are surrounding. So I have this box here, and I want to make this molding travel all the way around the edge of this box. So I'm going to enter into this molding component, and I'm just going to extend the reach of that component by drawing a box around this box. And now we have a face, a new face on top of that old face. That's part of this component now. I'm going to enter into that component. Double click on this face. Hit the Follow Me tool. It says Select Face to Extrude. I'm going to click this face. And there you have it. In three clicks, we have that trim wrapped all the way around the top of our, uh, our old box. So some nice beautiful molding there. Everything looks great. And we can even go in and edit out this uh, these faces if we want to. And there you have it. And that is how to use the Follow Me tool. This is another tutorial brought to you by LurkExchange.com. For more great tutorials, you can check us out online. Thanks for watching. Thank you.